Ah. Hi everyone, welcome back to Katarina's Garage. My name is Katarina Lloyd and actually I am here at a property in the middle of nowhere. Quite literally. Um, I was actually looking at, you can see it in the background there, that Firebird formula. I'm, I'm going to ponder on that a little bit, but uh, meanwhile I've gotten permission to film the property. So and there's a lot of cool cars around here, especially if you're interested in the late 70s uh, Camaros and Firebirds and stuff like that. They're here. So uh, yeah, anyways, let's take a look at this awesome collection of cars. So over here, which this is actually a very rare and unusual car being that as a Camaro Berlinetta, and usually the Berlinettas didn't really have much for options, but this one is loaded um, with AC, power windows, T-tops, the works, right? And it's actually looks pretty solid overall. Um... You know, and it's it's nice to actually see the factory T-tops because there are times when you see these that are not factory and they just don't fit right. So yeah, very gorgeous. And I love the lines of these, to be honest. And, you know, he bought this one because it's just a nice loaded car. Um, but, uh, yeah, anyways, let's take a look um, inside here. And, like, and look at how nice this opens. You know. Heavy door, but doesn't sag at all. And a uh, very nice gray interior, you know, a little dirty, but overall, a very nice car. And these were actually, you can see it down here. Um, these were designed by Fisher, right? So very nice uh, sort of aerodynamic body that way. Big car though. Like you don't realize how big these uh, Camaros and Firebirds are. So you're up next to one. And the door that weighs like 500 pounds. Yeah, it's, it's great. <laughs> I absolutely love it. You know, the Berlinetta wheels look sweet as well. And, uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of these cars. But, uh, yeah, anyways, let's move on to this Firebird Formula, which I'm still thinking about it. Um, it's a pretty nice car overall. There is no rust in this car that I can really find. Um, under the hood, we have a 403 Olds motor, which does kind of run. The carburetor needs to be gone through uh, just because it's a little stuck in there. But... It does run. It's got new spark plugs in it. Got the HEI on it. It's very nice. Um, yeah, and overall, like, you know, it's just dented body. You know, you can't actually open this door, unfortunately, because of the dents. So there's that, and the glass is broken too. So something else to need to get for it, right? But uh, I absolutely love these, and then with the formula hood on them too, they really look killer. Big fan, honestly. Um, I'll show you the interior in a moment because it's it's a little it's not terrible but it's not great but uh yeah, yeah the tail lights on it very nice I love this finned sort of uh tail light and again this is a uh 79 firebird formula so I don't know a ton on these to be honest but it's very cool oh I actually did find some rust one little rust spot right there but really not bad at all considering the entire car that's pretty good um Meanwhile, let's take a look inside. Because, again, nice opening doors. Or at least door, because it can't open the other door. You know, red interior, which you either love it or you hate it. Just one of those things. This one does have um, the automatic cassette AM FM stereo, which is nice. The engine turn dash. And uh, nice bucket seats. Although faded to purple here. <laughs> but it's very nice. Uh, some critters have definitely gotten in here. And I got a cat photo bombing me, or attempting to. <laughs> but it's very, very cool. Come on. There we go. Hey. Well, you're okay. <laughs> yeah, little kitty there. Um, then, the next vehicle, actually. Now, these are really cool, because this is a, uh, a Pontiac Parisian sport convertible, which you never see the convertibles. I don't know if I've ever actually seen one of these. And for those of you that... Our American might not know what is a Parisian. It's a Canadian only Pontiac model. These actually have a Chevrolet drivetrain in them and Chevrolet rear ends and stuff like that. Um, but they're a Pontiac. And they are a very, very nice car. Uh, this one had a 327 in it, but now has a 350 in it. Um, just very, very cool. And these have the X frame in them, which like to rust out pretty good. Uh, but they're a very nice car, very good cruiser. And everything like that, you know, if we 
take a look inside. Ooh, a little stiff on the hinges. But uh, nice white interior, right? Absolutely cool. Actually, the white on red looks really neat. And the dash and everything, the tack. Honestly, real big fan of these, and these are a nice sort of cruiser, you know? And this one's actually in pretty decent shape, although needs needs a lot of work, but overall pretty good shape. Um, and yeah, like it did have a new top put on it when it was uh, parked initially, and then it had all the body work done, but as you can see, well, they use a little too much filler when doing the body work, so unfortunately, it has to be completely just gone through that way. Or you can just fix it and drive it as is, really. Put a new top on it and away you go. It's one of those deals, too. Just depends on your preference. Um, over here, we have another Camaro. This one, I really dig the wheels that are on it. Those are sweet. Those nice uh, vision wheels. This one's obviously much more of a project because, again, it doesn't have the front clip on it or anything like that. Not a ton to show here, but clean. very clean condition overall and uh i love the uh the painted uh uh sway bar and uh control arm and stuff like that and the backing plates that really pops actually like that but uh yeah overall very nice little camaro and sorry i don't have a ton of room here to work with so um but trying here <laughs> very nice camaro um and then, if that wasn't enough, actually, let's go to this old GMC van over here. Um, because these things, really cool. I had one of these back in the day. I kind of miss it. Uh, and this is a three-quarter ton Vandura, just like what I had. Um, this one's been parked for about the same time mine was. Because you can see, uh, 2004 was the last time this was on the road. Um, but very cool vans. And very comfortable as well. Mine was a conversion, so it had a different interior in it. And this one, oh, this one's gutted inside. You know, very cool. Actually, oh, sorry, this is a one ton. So this might actually have the big block in it, or had the big block in it. Yeah. Then inside, you'll just see it's kind of all over the place in here, but, uh, you know, this thing is sweet. Kind of got old blocks and stuff like that in here. Um... And yeah, and Dura Sparks and all that different stuff. Very cool. Honestly, a big fan of these old vans. Because, yeah. Um, and it's got the uh, awesome spare tire cover. Mine had this as well, except for it had, uh, instead of the, the soft, it had the hard cover. So that's very cool. And this thing is actually very solid. Like, wow, you never see them like this. It does have a uh, skylight. I think that's what it is. Might be for an aftermarket AC unit, hard to say. But uh, yeah, got the big old window in it. So yeah, this was a definitely a cool cruiser back in the day. It's got the shag carpet inside and everything. Very cool. Um, meanwhile, well here, here's another Camaro in case you want to see another Camaro. Here's another one. <laughs> and again, this one's, uh, I can't remember what year this actually was, but it looks like this one came originally from that almost looks, no, it doesn't say Edmonton, but uh, yeah, this one, again, very nice condition. Like a lot of the stuff out here, it's kind of weird. It's not completely roached out, which usually that's what you see. But uh, yeah, very nice panels and everything. And it's just, oh, what a, what a trip. I love collections like this. And even though it's mostly just these uh, late seventies, early eighties Camaros, these things are still very cool. And I always like these when they're clean like this, you know, when they have a clean body that's not like super rusty and, you know, a little nicer to look at, I'm much more of a fan. And now this one, like inside, you know, got a nice bucket seats, automatic console, got an aftermarket attack, awesome blue interior, the black carpet. Very gorgeous, honestly. And yeah, just a big, big fan. Um, this one's got an aftermarket amp in it. And uh, yeah. Overall, very nice. And again, and just hear how that closes. Like, that's a good indication, not all the time, but a very good indication of a really nice vehicle underneath that's not super rusty. As if you can open the door, close the doors like that without any issues and like without a clang or anything. It's a pretty solid car. 
But uh, hey, look at another Camaro on its side and an old Dodge pickup over here. Now, that one's actually a Z28, but it's uh, it's pretty hurting. <laughs> you know, this one got uh, either slid into a pole or something like that. Very rusty, but uh, very nice over, like, cool. And it's kind of funny to see it rednecked up like this, but it's not going to fall over. It's fine. Um, yeah, it just, it got hammered, right? Just, oh, so sad to see. But, I mean, the one thing is, these cars, uh, they're getting harder to find, but they're still quite plentiful out there. So, yeah, and a bunch of parts inside and lots of T-top cars, yeah. <laughs> but pretty cool just again it's kind of hammered um and it's on the side so you know there's that now we have something this is a uh don't know what year this is but this is 70s for sure like 70 like like 70s 76 to 79 ish 78 so um d200 honestly a very nice truck this has the 400 with a two barrel on it um major fan of these to be honest I've always loved these old Mopars, and, you know, I love these uh, indented hoods and everything. And this grill just, so gorgeous. Really, really nice grill on these. Um, this one, a little bit of a beater, a little bit of rust and stuff like that, but very nice overall. And I would love to own one of these someday. But again, someday. I might. You know, inside, you'll see. And again, this one's a Dodge Adventure as well. The tan interior. Can't see, it's shag carpet. You know, very cool. And th these are a basic truck, to be honest. Got the sliding rear window. And that's all very nice there. Uh, meanwhile, if we continue on here. You know, there's another old Dodge back here. Similar vintage. It's 70s for sure. If I remember correctly, maybe 1980. Can't remember what he told me on this one. But this one. Yeah, it doesn't have a box on it. This one. Uh, oh, so this is actually a D100. So this is not a D150. So this is actually the lighter duty truck. Uh, this one's a power wagon, which you can see right there. So this one's a 4x4, which is sweet. Well, they have a power wagon hood for sure, but... Yeah, this one, again, late 70s. Just like the other one. Very, very cool. I love these old Dodges, to be honest. Big fan. Oh! <laughs> you know, you can see, actually, inside, it's a four-speed manual. With a 4x4, of course. You know, green door panel. And just that awesome, awesome Opar dash. Really a big fan of these. But, uh, someday. There you go. All right, uh, continuing on here, actually I'll pause it right here. And then now over here, we have actually kind of a cool thing. This is an E36 BMW with a four cylinder in it, uh, four door. Now these are getting uh, harder to come by actually. This one, unfortunately, it was getting some wiring work done and like the, the owner of this was gonna turn it into a drift car. But uh, when I was getting the wiring done, actually, somebody decided to steal, like, the door panels and the steering wheel and some other stuff. So, unfortunately, it's just been sitting ever since because of that. Um, you know, and it is very sad that way because these are a very cool car overall. But, uh, yeah, this one, and, of course, just drift car, right? So, and these are uh, have just about a perfect 50-50 weight distribution being the four-door. Um, two doors don't as much unless they have, actually... Yeah, the two doors are like, uh, I think it's 5248 or something like that. But, uh, yeah, anyways, here we have a Ranger that got rolled. <laughs> uh, apparently, the uh, person that owned this uh, just had just got their license and uh, was playing with it a bit on a dirt road and then rolled it into a ditch. So, it's kind of sad, but uh, that's how it goes. Um, you know... Chevy 4x4, that's, uh... Now, this one... Yeah, I don't really care about the Chevy as much. But this Dodge here... This is, uh... Was a 92... With the... You can see it right there. 
with the Cummins in it. Now, in 91, these were the intercool, like 91, 92, intercooled 12 valve Cummins. But unfortunately, no drivetrain because somebody stole it. Or not stole it, but you know, somebody took it for their project, right? So, yeah, it is uh, quite sad because these things with the intercooled Cummins, they're a very uh, hot commodity, actually. But, uh, you know, it's just one of those deals that this one, unfortunately, is not uh, is not all together that way. So, but anyways, that'll conclude this little uh, tour of this property at the moment. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know, please like the video, comment anything you want to see down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as well, you can if you want to contact me, you can at Canarinas.garage on Instagram or Canarinas Garage on Facebook. Um, as well, follow me on TikTok at Canarinas.garage as well. I uh, hope you're staying safe during COVID-19. Good luck for what we're working on, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!